The Tesla rolls up and swings its doors open. But wait. Okay. Thank you. Where's the steering wheel? Or even the pedals? It's just seats, screens, and pure silence. This is the Cybercab. Tesla's insane robo-taxi with no steering wheel. Tesla officially announced the Cybercab, and the world's first reaction was disbelief. A car with no steering wheel, no pedals, and no way for a human to take over. It doesn't just challenge convention, it eliminates it. Elon Musk stood on stage and declared that the age of human-driven vehicles is ending. His message was clear. In Tesla's vision of the future, people won't drive, they'll ride. The Cybercab embodies that philosophy stripping away the most iconic symbols of control and replacing them with complete trust in artificial intelligence. For some, it feels like a bold leap toward progress. For others, it feels reckless, even dangerous. The sight of an empty driver's seat shakes the very foundation of what we think a car should be. Yet Musk insists that this is the next logical step, an evolution Tesla has been building toward for over a decade. The Cybercab isn't just another Tesla, it's a statement a promise, and a provocation. Musk believes this machine will redefine mobility itself. The question now is whether the world is ready to accept it. But behind the shocking reveal lies the real question. How does it work? Way cooler than I thought it was. At the heart of the Cybercap is Tesla's full self-driving system the most ambitious and controversial software project in automotive history. Unlike other autonomous car companies that lean heavily on LiDAR sensors and high-definition mapping, Tesla has staked everything on vision. Eight cameras positioned around the vehicle feed a constant stream of data into Tesla's neural network, allowing the car to interpret its environment in real time, the same way a human does by seeing. The difference is scale. Every Tesla on the road today is a rolling data collector transmitting billions of miles of driving information back to Tesla's servers. This creates a feedback loop. The more cars drive, the smarter the AI becomes. In theory, the Cybercab isn't just one autonomous car, it's the culmination of knowledge gathered from an entire global fleet. Tesla calls this approach a leap of faith in artificial intelligence. To critics, it's reckless. To supporters, it's genius. Musk frames it simply. If the car sees better, reacts faster, and never gets distracted, why should humans still be in control? But if the Cybercab can truly drive itself, what's the business model? Elon Musk doesn't just see the Cybercab as a vehicle, he sees it as an economy. In Tesla's vision, each Cybercab is a worker, generating income while its owner sleeps, works, or travels. Instead of sitting idle in a driveway, the car joins a vast Tesla-run robo-taxi fleet, ferrying passengers around the city on demand. Musk promises fares cheaper than Uber or Lyft, undercutting ride-sharing giants by removing the costliest element, the human driver. A cybercab doesn't demand wages, doesn't get tired, and never calls in sick. It operates as long as it's charged, making money almost non-stop. For Tesla owners, that means a car isn't just a purchase, it's an investment, a machine that pays for itself. Tesla takes a cut of every ride, creating a new revenue stream that dwarfs traditional car sales. In Musk's words, this could turn Tesla into the world's biggest ride-sharing company overnight. If it works, Tesla isn't just selling cars anymore, they're building a transportation empire, powered not by people, but by fleets of self-driving machines. But beyond the economics, Tesla's radical design asks, what should a car be? The Cybercab is built from the ground up for passengers, not drivers. With no steering wheel and no pedals, the cabin transforms into something entirely new. Where once there was a driver's seat, there is now open space. Designed for screens, workstations, or pure entertainment, it feels less like a car and more like a moving living room. A place to relax while the vehicle handles everything. Tesla's design cues echo the Cybertruck. Sharp lines, futuristic angles, a sense of boldness that dares the industry to catch up. But this time, the message is bigger. 
The cybercab isn't just about appearance, it's about rewriting the very purpose of the automobile. For over a century, cars were designed around the driver. Tesla asks, what if we remove the driver altogether? The result is a lounge on wheels, optimized for productivity or leisure, with passengers free to work, watch, or simply disconnect during the ride. Musk frames it as freedom, freedom from distraction, stress, and the burden of traffic. The cybercab isn't just a transportation, it's a redefinition of how time inside a vehicle should be spent. But every bold promise comes with a shadow of what happens when reality strikes. The cybercab may look like the future, but its foundation rests on Tesla's most controversial technology, full self-driving. Despite years of demos and upgrades, FSD is still in beta. It has faced missed deadlines, software glitches, and high-profile crashes. For Tesla fans, it's a work in progress. For critics, it's evidence that Musk's vision is dangerously ahead of its time. Regulators worldwide share that skepticism. In the US, lawsuits allege Tesla exaggerated the readiness of FSD. In Europe, stricter safety standards could slow adoption. Governments demand proof that an AI-driven fleet can outperform human drivers, not just in ideal conditions, but in the chaos of everyday streets. Musk, of course, dismissed the doubts. He argues that autonomy is inevitable, and that every year of hesitation means more human lives lost to avoidable incidents. Yet even Tesla supporters admit the timelines are uncertain, the risks very real. The cybercab represents the boldest promise Tesla has ever made. But beneath the excitement lies an uncomfortable truth. The world may not be ready to surrender control. And if Tesla pulls this off, the ripple effects will be unstoppable. The cybercab is way more than just a new vehicle you see. It's a shockwave waiting to hit the global economy. Its fleet of autonomous robo-taxis truly become mainstream. Entire industries will be forced to adapt or collapse. The first casualties would be drivers. Millions who depend on taxis, rideshare apps, and trucking could see their jobs vanish almost overnight. Then comes insurance. If cars no longer crash because of human error, what happens to an industry built on liability? Policies, premiums, and even the definition of responsibility would need to be reinvented. And beyond business, cities themselves would feel the strain. Traffic laws, parking infrastructure, and even urban planning were all designed with human drivers in mind. The cybercab challenges every assumption. Musk argues this disruption is necessary. Fewer accidents, cheaper transport, cities with less congestion, and cleaner air. But critics warn that transitions this massive rarely come without chaos. The cybercab may very well redefine convenience, but it could also force society into a painful reckoning about jobs, law, and the role of technology in daily life.